Good morning from Athens. It is the last weekend of September and two things are happening. It is actually Sunday today. First, it is still really hot. I can't believe it, it's almost October and I am just so hot. But that's okay, we're trying to stay away from the sun. So the second very important thing that's happening is today we can see Acropolis for free. So every last weekend of September, all archaeological sites in Athens, including public museums, are free to enter. So I'm going to take you with me. And to be honest with you, it's the fourth time I'm going and I still haven't paid a penny to see it. So every time I go out, time my visit so I don't actually have to spend money on it I'll tell you more about it a little bit later and um, things didn't completely go according to plans I'm just gonna walk down the stairs things didn't exactly go according to plan because my original plan was to of course arrive early because on the days when it's free everybody's planning their visit and of course there's going to be lots of people and i wanted to make um, some really nice videos for you preferably without the crowds but <laughs> welcome to my life i was working last night the late and i just couldn't put myself together this morning so my plan was to come to be there at 8 30 and it is now 10 to 10 so i'm just slightly almost two hours late but that's okay. We will see it in real life, how it really is. <laughs> we see how many people is actually there. But the main purpose of this video is I want to show you how to visit Acropolis and of course other sites in Athens totally for free because maybe you come in on a budget or maybe you come in with a family and maybe you don't want to spend 25 euros for each person in your family and you just basically want to save money so uh we're gonna go and see it it's it's almost october it's end of september i've been to acropolis in january in february and in april on three days and the quietest it was it was in february i think because we went to the ticket booth around nine o'clock in the morning and we didn't have to wait. It is end of September, so it is kind of still high season. So I'm pretty sure we will have to queue. I am not sure if we're gonna get timed ticket. It might be that we might have to come back later. We will see because that's what's happening when you go on a paid day. So you are getting actually a um, paid ticket and then on the ticket it will show the time and you have to come back at that time within that window. But we'll see what's going to happen today. It is hot. <laughs> I hope it's windy up there. And then I'm going to show you there's two entrances. So we're going to go through, go, we're going to get in through one of the entrances, and we're going to leave through the other entrance just so you see both of them as well and then of course I'm going to show you Acropolis and if everything goes well because you know with me things don't always go as planned I want to take you after that to a very off the beaten path location where you can actually go for lunch it is not off the beaten path for Athenians, but it's definitely uh, off the beaten path for tourists. I recently discovered it and um, a friend of mine showed me this place. So I really want to take you there shortly. We just, I'm just going to show you what it is and show you a few pictures. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you some tips also on uh, when you can visit uh, um, Acropolis and other archaeological sites for free. And in case you actually arrive when the Acropolis is not for free and you still don't want to spend money where you can see Acropolis from and really well actually and also for free. And I'm just going to give you a few um, useful tips, but that's going to be towards the end of the video. And now we are going to go and check out the queue. Let's see how long we're going to wait to get in. And uh, so now it's five past five to ten. I'm almost there. We are gonna go through the main ticket office and let's let's go. Let's go and see Acropolis.
So basically, this is uh, this is what it is. It is at the moment eleven o'clock, and the place is packed. I mean, you wouldn't really uh, expect anything else. And I was here at ten o'clock, and it was maybe just a little bit less packed than it is right now. So I have a funny feeling that even if I came here like eight thirty as I planned. It still would already have a lot of people. Oh, I try to say that to myself just so I don't feel too bad about uh, being here so late. But that's okay. This is the this is the real experience. Okay. So we're gonna leave through the south slope entrance, and you will see some other um, archaeological um, sites as well on this site. So it's really worth taking both entrances. Get in from one side and leave from the other side because you basically see more it is baking it is really really hot so i'm gonna go and find the shade and i uh, will see you downstairs see ya So really quickly, if you can see me at all, because the sun is blasting. Um, I just um, wanted to tell you that if you are looking for easier way up walking, um, I'll tell you later what I found out about the lift, by the way, um, because my mom is coming next uh, month. So I wanted to find out about the lift for my mom. I'll tell you I'll tell you a little bit later about this but if you're looking for an easier way up I do believe that from the north slope so how I came it is easier because this path seemed to be going up for longer and um, I do believe that if you have maybe slight mobility issues or maybe I don't know you just don't want to get tired whatever your reason I think the north slope probably gonna be much better but uh, yeah but uh, if you go through the north slope please make sure that you also come on this side because there is just so many amazing things on this side as well Also, if you are planning to visit the Acropolis Museum, which right now is right behind me, that is also located on the south slope side. So plan your visit accordingly. So for example, if you're planning, my, my recommendation is that if you are planning to visit the museum, which by the way is not free today because it is not a public museum 
for some reason. But if you are planning to visit the Acropolis Museum, I do suggest seeing it first, which makes sense because then you would learn a lot about what you're just about to see on the Acropolis Hill. So you visit there and then you get in from the south slope. Yes. And then you can get out from the north slope as I did. Okay. We are in the shade. So the South Slope is also a good place, good side of Acropolis to live if you want to go to Plaka after that, because Plaka is just here, behind us, just there, behind us, where I am not going, but where I am going before we're gonna go to my secret lunch spot for you, I need a coffee. So I'm just gonna go and grab a quick cup of coffee because we will have around 25 minutes walk so but you can also get there by metro i'll tell you what metro station it is when we get there because obviously it's a secret so i'm gonna go and grab a coffee real quick and then we're gonna walk to our lunch spot see you soon I just had the nicest thing happen to me. Um, a girl just stopped me on the on the street and told me that she's watching the, my videos and I have inspired her to move to Athens. Uh, if you're watching this, I am so sorry I forgot your name, but thank you so much. You really made my day. Um, yeah, I feel like a proper celebrity now. I hope you enjoy Athens. So obviously I forgot that it's Sunday and there is some kind of event oh. and there is some kind of event here 
but we are in the area called Gazi. This is a really cool and trendy place where you will find lots of bars and restaurants. There's a lot of events here as well. This used to be an industrial area and it's basically been uh, transformed into this kind of uh, place full of restaurants and bars, cafes, there is a little park there as well. And it is Sunday, so there is loads of people here. But if you look around, there's not many tourists. All the people here are actually locals. There is some kind of event here. I think it's like a market. Let's go and take a look. But this is not what I really wanted to show you. I need to put you, you are very close to my face because I just broke my tripod. So, yeah, I have to get a new one. But let's just take a look. Ah, I know what it is. This is the coffee festival that I have seen somewhere on Facebook. It's like a, over the whole weekend. It's like a coffee festival. So you can see, I don't know. I'll show you. Let me see. So... Athens Coffee Festival. So I guess the entrance is only five euros, so it's not too bad. Throughout the whole summer, there's always some kind of festival or events in Athens. There's a lot of people in there, so I don't really fancy that. But uh, I will show you my favorite part of this area. There's some really cute bars and restaurants there. So it, especially if you come in on the weekday, it's going to be quieter, but to be honest with you, it is so nice even on the weekend because it feels local. Um, although it's full of people, it still feels local. Here is the metro station. So the metro station is Timotico Teatro. So that is the blue one, that's the blue line. But you can literally just get off here and you are in Gazi. Now that I'm thinking about it, it is probably a better place to come in the evening rather than for lunch. Although I see people in Capo of Tavernas here eating, but this place is definitely even more lively in the evening because this is where people just basically come for a drink and to enjoy themselves. 
but it's still a really nice place to come even during the day I'm just gonna go and find a place where I can sit down for half an hour chill a little bit and then go home and then when I get home I'll give you a couple last important tips just so as always I don't make this video too long I probably did already so let me just rest my feet for a moment and I will see you in a few seconds hello I am back it's actually a few days later <laughs> because I didn't have time to film this so I'll give you a few very quick useful tips for visiting um, the Acropolis first of all the free days when you can go and see the Acropolis for free but also on those days you can see all other archaeological sites in Athens and often as well public museums but I will link the uh, website in the description in this website you will find everything that you need to know about visiting archaeological sites and the Acropolis in Athens so the three dates are 6th of March 18th of April 18th of May the last weekend of September the 28th of October and every first Sunday of each month from 1st of November until 31st of March so those are the three days okay now a few very very useful tips when you go on the days when it's especially when on the days when it's paid and on the days during the high season always check your tickets on the ticket it will show your visiting window because it's not always straight away sometimes you have to come back later for this as well if you're visiting during the peak season try to go as early as possible because first of all it's really really hot um, in the middle of the day the area is very exposed to the sun as you could see so it's very hot but also sometimes when we have a very strong heat wave when it's really really hot like it was this year sometimes they even close acropolis in the middle of the day just for people's safety so always check the time as well like even on my free ticket that i had on sunday i, I still had a window although the window was now meaning between 10 and 11 but it was saying 10 to 11 so if i went somewhere and i would come back late in the afternoon this ticket would not be valid anymore and uh, when we are talking about the weather if you go in the summer be prepared for few reasons first of all it's hot and um, there is not much shade i've seen few people hiding in this little tiny spots of shade it's really hot some people really struggle so wear a hat some people even took um, some umbrellas with them of course use a sunscreen stay try to stay away from the sun as much as you can and stay hydrated bring the water with you if you forget there is a shop there is like a little point where you can buy some water but there is also a place where you can and refill the water bottle there's like a little ancient sink and you can refill your bottle so definitely stay hydrated as well and wear comfortable walking shoes preferably non-slippery because as I showed you in the video the surface is very uneven there's a lot of steps there's a lot of stones and it's very slippery and if you are there during the maybe winter or maybe if it's raining it can be very slippery so please mind your steps be careful and wear good shoes now about the elevator because there is an elevator in case you have mobility issues you could get up to the acropolis using the elevator but i went to ask the ladies that were there what um how you can do it because my mom is coming next month and i don't think she would be able to clap i mean she probably would but i don't think i want to put her through it and i was not very happy to be honest with you because they said to me you need to bring a doctor's note that you are having mobility issues or 
anything else that will prevent you from walking up so you actually need to bring a doctor note then you have to call uh, apparently as well i will link the telephone number in the description as well to arrange it i'm not happy with that because i'm sure a lot of people don't know that they need to bring a doctor's note there's tourists from all over the world so now i need to go and ask my mom to go to her doctors and ask uh, for a note which is silly because the note would be in polish and uh, it's not that can <laughs> they will understand what it says on the note or maybe i need to get this translated it's very silly in my opinion I, i've been living here for long enough to not be totally surprised by that but i am still equally annoyed so if you know something about it if you use that lift or maybe you are more informed please leave a comment because that is really bizarre for me that's what i found out officially this is what i was told and now for the last tip i promised you that i'll tell you what are the viewing points nearby acropolis from which you can see acropolis really well of course it's never gonna be like the real thing but i totally understand that sometimes you know you just want to go to place you just want to come to athens and maybe that ticket is too expensive so first the most popular point is really really near it's also very busy because it's the most popular but it's really great because you will get a um, very close-up view of the acropolis and that is Aeropagos hill i hope i'm saying it right because i actually never heard any greek person saying that words to me but it's uh, i will link it in the description as well i think it's called Aeropagos hill it's very famous hill actually because it is where saint paul um, delivered the speech to the athenians so it's uh, also a hill of huge significance so it's and it's a great place i've been a couple of times actually when i just arrived in athens my very first week when i was totally skinned this is where i went to see the acropolis so and the view is great but it's always busy there's always people there and it's also slippery because you have to climb a few stairs and then you have to walk around on the stones so also wear good shoes if you're looking for something with almost equally great view of acropolis but definitely less uh, busy i 100 percent recommend philopapu hill it's a wonderful hiking place if you just want to go for a walk and uh, discover some of the beaten path archaeological sites as well definitely recommend going there anyway i go there very often it's one of my favorite walking areas in uh, athens and it offers stunning views over the whole city but go there for the sunset and you will have beautiful beautiful view of acropolis and the last one that i want to mention which is quite adventurous this is one that i actually haven't done yet but i'm definitely planning to do it soon now that it's not so hot anymore and the hill is called Likabetes hill again i really hope i'm saying it right it is this really tall hill that you can see from literally anywhere in athens and it takes a while to climb it up but there is also a cable car that can take you there i think i am definitely gonna walk it soon and i will make a video about it because i am really curious what is the experience about walking this hill but that is the furthest of this of the three that are mentioned but also the highest so you can get really great view of whole of athens i believe the majority of the best sunset photos of the acropolis were taken from there so this is it thank you very much please subscribe if you like this content it means a lot to me and there is uh, a lot of new content coming up i have a few surprise videos for you as well coming soon and of course give me a thumbs up because this always helps the algorithm and i will see you in the next one bye now